They're classicer. Let's talk about that. So, like Lucas said, it is at the uh, Bruce Dortmund Stadium. Yeah. But, of course, behind closed doors, so they don't have the yellow wall behind them and all that. Both clubs have been pretty decent since coming back from the break. Mm-hmm. What do we see happening here? What, what are our thoughts and opinions? Well, I, my Twitch chat, have I been discussing this, and a lot of people think it's going to be either going to be like a Bayern smash or a 2-2 draw. Uh, personally, I think it's being a very exciting affair. I think it's going to be a 3-2 win for Dorman, though. And it's going to add a lot more pressure to Bayern. But it's like if Bayern win this game, the title's locked up almost. It's One second- thing that I, yeah. Something that I was think, looking at, though, is because Jane Sancho – did not mm-hmm. start for either game for Dortmund, the That's two games before. Yeah. Now, do we think he's going to start this game? I'd be shocked if he doesn't. If he doesn't, that might be a big mistake, definitely. Yeah, because he's... What's, what's up with him right now? He, along with many players on both teams, are game changers and can completely yeah. take over a game and have a great game. And... Yeah, I'd be shocked if he doesn't get the start. Realistically, Sancho could be struggling with fitness right now. He's not ready. Yeah, of course, yeah. but when he's the star of your team, like sometimes you gotta play him, right? I mean, Byron have looked. Both Byron and Dortmund have looked pretty good since returning. They have, yeah. Um, but uh, honestly, I think the X factor will be Halan for Dortmund. He he's kind of proven, yo. I, I'm going to show up when we need This is when arguably you need the two most exciting goal scorers going head to head. Yeah, in the Bundesliga. Like, like, it's it, almost in the world at this point. Like, it's, <laughs> it's outstanding. Yeah. I mean, you have to keep well, I mean, the wing backs you, you, too. You talk about... Yeah, Davies and Hakimi. And Guerrero. Uh, Guerrero scored a few goals in, yeah. so far in this uh, post lockdown. I think. Three they, goals already. They've been, those wing backs have been getting in involved a lot. And. They they made some smart movements during their match against Wolfsburg, so I'm really mm-hmm. excited to seeing if they can continue getting involved and p- causing some problems for Bayern, especially because guys like uh, Davies, he, while he's very good right now, he does stay up higher up the pitch compared to, compared to Pavard, who's on the other side. And another thing with Davies is that he's able to track back so fast. Oh, That's true. It's incredible how pacey he is. But yeah, Hakimi's pretty fast. I think too. it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a very tight game though. Honestly, Lucas, what do you think will happen? Uh, I'm. I think Dortmund's gonna win. Uh, maybe I'm just saying that so I, there's still some reason to watch the title race in the Bundesliga. But I, I do think yeah. they're gonna win this game. I think like two one or something. But that's Man. that's the thing. Like if Dortmund do win this game, one point difference, right? Like and it's. It's so tight. Every point matters then for the rest of the season. Even though every point matters now, it's. But if Bayern now the question is if Bayern wins this game, is the title done? Yeah, I think so. Like ninety nine percent done. I'm yeah. gonna say though. I I'm gonna lean towards a Bayern Munich victory here. I'm gonna say two one Bayern. I'm gonna say two nil Bayern or a one one draw. Went three two dormant. Two. It, it is one of those things two, where two. if Byron lose it, no, if Byron win the game, it's like, oh, title done. But what next week they lose a game and then Dortmund win a game? It's like what? It, it's <laughs> like that. But yeah. a team, a team like Bayern Munich, you expect them to to keep Not it going. Point, keep, so. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the I mean, way they're rolling right now. Like I said earlier, I do think Dortmund has <sighs> been better out of the two clubs in the first two matches. But obviously, the only really two games to show, so a lot can change. Leverkusen versus Wolfsburg, I think... Uh, That's not bad. I, I think a couple years ago, that could have been a big match. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. Uh, Leverkusen are fourth. Wolfsburg are sixth. But there's a it's huge bad, points yeah. difference between yeah, them. It's no, like 13 yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Um, no, I think it's all for Germany at the moment. I mean, to be fair, um, let's just give some Leverkusen some praise for be- defeating Gladbach and hopping into the top four now. That's incredible for yeah. them. Well, yeah. But the top yeah, five is pretty close in the standings. And when you get to sixth I, I, place, it's... Just a huge drop off. Who was it that said? Who said? Who said that Gladbach was not a title fight? Yeah, me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean they're well, one I mean, point. Hey, hey Kai Havertz had another two goals against Gladbach. I'm just saying. He's in... How about uh, Augsburg and Schalke? Because <sighs> Schalke. Are you Schalke's gonna... been looking bad. He's got yeah. a point. Honestly, that's, that's nine game, nine games winless. So yeah. And Not seven goals for conceded them. in two matches. That's terrible right now. Yeah, it's they, they've yeah, been well, horrible. Uh, do you think they're going to make a managerial change in this point of the season? I don't no. know. It's, I, I wouldn't. So now. difficult. Yeah. Well, it's one of those things. Like we said, like how are some te- teams going to react to coming back from this break? And Schalke are clearly haven't been ready. Um, yeah, Schalke. I mean, 
Mines is somewhat not ready. Frankfurt hasn't really been ready during this yeah. time. It, it's just kind of but, brutal, honestly, for some clubs, but, you know.